it is the touchline here on Y254. It is a big week when it comes to matters sports, but this time around we're taking a very different turn on everything that has been happening in the country and the world over. It is time for the youth, and also today here on Y254 we are talking about youth and sports. How is it? How is it going? How is it supposed to help the country and everybody at large? Joining me today to discuss everything youth and sports today is a guest of the Touchland, but he has not been here for a while now, but he's back. Let's talk to him and see what he has in store for us. His name is Absalim Ogana. He's the founder and president of Budalangi Youth Sports Academy. Absalim, how are you, man? Thank you so very much for inviting me, Bonel. So, yes, it has been a minute. Yes, please. Well, what have you been up to? Uh, I've been uh, fighting this coronavirus yes. as well as uh, working for the people of Machakos. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It, it is a big one now that you are here and you started a sports academy way at home in Budalangi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, now you are back, you are working in Machakos. Mm -hmm. How do you manage those two? Yeah, it is just organization. Eh? Yes. You must be put people on the ground. Mm -hmm. In BISA, yeah. uh, we have uh, directors of different directorates mm -hmm. who are managing this oh, academy yes. uh, on my behalf. Yeah. Mine is just to give directions. Yeah. Well, people might think it is a hands on experience and everything that is happening. Yeah. First, talk to us about BISA. You know, when we talk BISA, Budalangi Youth Sports Academy, what is it? Uh, kindly, first of all, let me begin by thanking you, Balasoro, yeah. to invite me to this uh, station of Y254. Yes. With the motto called Imagine. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> so that today, was. today we are here to mm -hmm. rekindle not only the glory of people of uh, Budalangi, mm -hmm. but also the adventurous and hardworking spirit of the youth, mm -hmm. the footballers yeah. in the entire Kenya. Mm -hmm. Today, we are telling Kenya. We're telling Africa and even the world yeah. that youth in the Lang Youth Sports Academy mm -hmm. are ready to take off yeah. for transformation and realizing that uh -huh. Kenyan football dream yes. that was lost so many years ago. Uh -huh. mm. I, we, we talk about that dream went and now even the Africa Championship is happening in Cameroon mm. and Kenya is not there. Mm. But football is a very big initiative, it's yes. a very big game to go into. Why football? Uh, as you know, Bono Soro, yeah. and everyone knows, like mm -hmm. Kibaki used to say, yeah. and you know, and uh -huh. we know, <laughs> football has been viewed by many yes. as a major sporting event in the world. Yeah. This game of football has contributed in enriching so many individuals. A good example here in Kenya is like Olunga, mm -hmm. yes. Wanyama, uh, Victor Mugubi Wanyama, his brother, who was McDonald's McDonald Mariga? Yeah. They have all been get rich because of this game. Besides, yeah. sports in general and football in particular has been uh, emerged as a unifying factor, even the moment of uh, political, ethnic, and social religious tension and feuds. Yeah. So many nations across the globe have united behind these games. Yeah. Football bridges the racial divide and brings people of any nation into that union of oneness. Yeah. Even at this time of coronavirus, you can see people still converging to play this game. Yes. That's why we have started with football. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, football is one game that touches every corner of the world. Actually, there is a conversation that you, they usually say that mm -hmm. football has touched many souls mm -hmm. and more so a very larger part of the globe even more than the united nations yes and that is what is that but now mm -hmm. here you have football mm -hmm. and you have uh, the budalang youth sports uh, academy, academy. Yes. yes how did you start this program mm. in a kenyan context yeah. in a kenyan scenario we have got numerous challenges mm -hmm. that are still predominant yeah. in most of our counties such yes. as Busia County, mm -hmm. and it is uh, in uh, villages around like mm -hmm. Budaland. Yes. And this is because uh, the zeal and desire yeah. of our young people mm -hmm. to conquer and be 
number one, yes. has unfortunately not been matched with opportunities and facilities to nurture their skills and talents. Yeah. In a Kenyan scenario, mm. thousands and thousands of young footballers are giving up hopes. Hmm? Mm. They are burning their talents yeah. and indulging in mal practices, activities such as drug abuse, yes. prostitution, mm -hmm. uh, banditry, yeah. as well as all marriages and all pregnancies. It can therefore not be argued that Banosoro, yeah. that uh, uh, idleness yeah. breeds crime. Yeah. And other various malpractices that can only lead to the destruction of an individual and it is communities. So you are engaging a lot of youth in Budalange. Give us an estimate number. 500. 500. To and that is the that age is the, group. That is the age group of 13, yeah. the age under nine, under nine years, eh? mm -hmm. under 13 years, eh? mm -hmm. under 15 years, yeah. under 16, and currently you're having under 20. Okay. Actually, last year, yeah. we were supposed to play under 20 talent search. Ah. But because of coronavirus, yeah. we couldn't do that. A very, a very tough situation that it puts you in, the coronavirus scenario. Something yeah. that has disrupted the world in everything that is happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For you, how did you deal with it? It disrupted your sports and everything, but now people are starting to come back eventually, slow by slow. How did you deal with it? Uh, when the coronavirus came, it yeah. hit us hardly. Yeah. We asked ourselves, is it safe for young people to go and play in the field? Yeah. Because as much as they are saying that uh, we, this is, uh, the players are supposed to be tested first before yes. they play. Yeah. But even the government did not allow us to test these players for free. Yeah. So it is you tough for this. you. Yeah, it was tough yeah. for us because to test like 1,000 young people, for them to just to go to play once, just that is just a practice, then come back and be tested for another day. Yeah. Was a, and a big Very task. hectic for you. Very hectic. The COVID-19. But now, we, we, are, we got to talk about now, this program has kicked off. It yes. is going on. Mm -hmm. It is happening mm -hmm. outside there and everything is happening. Mm -hmm. And then everybody will be like, mm -hmm. what are the benefits of this program to the people of Budalang? Since BISA came into place, yeah. it has brought a new dawn. Uh -huh. Not yeah. only to our young people in Budalang, uh -huh. but also to our parents, our, yes. our government, and the schools in yes. general. Yes. As we speak now, thousands and thousands of young people are getting free mentorship programs. Cut a silver gender 101, youth governance of Kenya, yeah. REPA, which is a women rights and empowerment partnership in Africa, uh -huh. that is led by a young lady uh, from Budalangi called Elena May Okondo. Yeah. Those are some of the partnerships that you have brought in. The, some of the partnerships that came through yeah. BISA that are supporting these young people. Yes. We have even a partnership from Sontofen, first FC Sontofen from German, uh -huh. that are bringing us football, yes. uh, football kits, all training uh, materials, yeah. courtesy of BISA. Uh -huh. As we speak now, yeah. our parents are benefiting from free scholarships. Yes. That are, these young people are getting through their skills. Yeah. Now these young people, when they play, we bring, when they do talent search, eh? yeah. we bring principals, school principals eh? ah, from okay. different schools to come and they tap these talents. And for them to go with their young people, we, yeah. the argument is that they must be schooled for free. Mm -hmm. As we speak now, yeah. thousands and thousands of young people are now benefiting through the, an exchange visit program. Yes between BISA mm -hmm. and other academies. Yeah. Just recently you see our young people who came up to Kasaran Stadium, Kenyatta Machakos Kenyatta Stadium, just to have an exchange visit program between them and the other academies. Yes. And we also we are planning to go outside Kenya yeah. when we are planning to go to Germany yeah. through Angelina Hainja, mm -hmm. who was planning for young people to travel from here, Kenya, up to German so that they can have an exchange visit program between BISA and FAST FC South Tofen. Yes, uh, we'll pick up from there. Let's go for a short commercial break. It is Absalom Ogana, who is the founder and president of Budalange Youth Sports Academy. Let's just pay our bills. We'll be back with this conversation.
It is the touchline here on Y254. I'm Robert Osoro. We are still talking about matters, youth, and sports in this country today. We are there are opportunities when it comes to the sports industry, but how are those opportunities coming to the people of your area? And football is one key major event. It is the touchline. We'll be coming with the fun zone a little bit later on. I can see Sammy Gita is already in studio, ready to talk about Frank Lampard. But before that, let's still talk with Absal Mogana, who is the founder and president of Budalangi Youth Sports, sports Academy. Academy. Mm -hmm. Absal, yes, we, were, we were talking earlier, we went for a short command your break mm -hmm. but when you talk about youth and sports it's a very key mm -hmm. subject and it's, it's also very sensitive subject it's because it's everybody is here starting an initiative mm -hmm. and you're using sports and everything mm -hmm. the major one will be mm -hmm. what is your motivation for this as the founder of Baisa yeah. what do you believe in yes <laughs> as the founder of Baisa we strongly believe that the future of every county in this Kenya yeah. strongly believes in the youthful population. Yes. It lies in that youthful population. And to invest in youth, it entails building a solid foundation because these are future leaders by maximizing their potentials. Mm -hmm. As fond of BISA, we have come to realize that in partnership with the sponsors, mm -hmm. government, that is county government and national government mm -hmm. with other stakeholders as well as other people who have good heart, uh, good spirit for these young people. Yes. These young people can be, can have a bright future through their talents. Yeah. As founders of Baisa, we equally believe that footballers in Kenya, mm -hmm. especially these young people, yes. are like rough diamonds whom we've well polished, yeah. whom we've well bred, eh? They can shine for the whole of humanity. Yeah. There's a big uh, thing there when we talk about uh, polishing this rough diamond because uh, when you look at someone like Michael Lunga, mm -hmm. he started from way in high school mm -hmm. and now he's playing his trade in Qatar. And high school, that is where they were spotted in. But some of you now, you're going up even the under 13. So you're trying to get talent from the down the young, up the youth, under nine, up, under nine. Uh, up to under nine. Yes. So the question will be, how is BISA different from the other sports uh, academies? Because we, when you talk about BISA, you might be talking, someone might think you are talking about MISA, but you are not talking about MISA. We are talking, we are about, talking BISA. about BISA, which yes. is Budalangi which is Youth, Budalangi youth sports, sports Academy. So how different is it from it's the other? It's quite others? different when I saw. Yeah. Uh, as founders of BISA, we believe that it is only through football academies yes. that we can save this generation from mm -hmm. under 9 up to under 20, especially the, the one we are having in Budalangi, yeah. from the bad habits mm -hmm. of these politicians uh -huh. who use our young people yeah. like uh, bait uh -huh. to catch votes. You see that one we put in a uh -huh. No one so that you can be able to catch uh, fish. Yes. So they, they only use football and they bring tournaments, especially during electioneering time. Yes. For example, like last next year or this year, you'll find there will be, there will be so many tournaments, tournaments around Kenya that will be used as a bait to catch votes. But after those, after the electioneering time, after voting, they leave, they leave these young people in the village mm -hmm. wallowing in poverty. They, uh, they get them confused, mm -hmm. leave them confused. Yeah. They don't know what to do. And yet these young people are smart. Yeah. They're energetic. They have a brain that they can use to play better football than even watch uh, uh, Ronaldo or yeah. Messi is playing abroad. So for you, one thing I'm getting from you is that mm -hmm. you are absolutely not going into politics. You are not using BISA for any political gain. Yes. Mm -hmm. No politics at all, at all. Yeah. No politics at all, at all. Yeah. It's an initiative to help the community and the people to grow up. So politics for you is a no-go zone. You never see my shadow in politics. Yeah. Even now when we are heading into electioneering period, someone might come and tell you, Absalom, I've got this sponsorship, can we do this tournament? Because of if the motivation is politics, don't come near by as much as yeah. they follow our objectives. Yes. What are the objectives of BISA? Mm -hmm. You know, for the Langing sub-county and, mm -hmm. and other sub-counties in Kenya, yeah. being found in an area where we do not have serious industries, 
that uh-huh. can employ these young people and put money in their pockets. Yeah. We can only use this football as a from Congo mm-hmm. so that uh, we can be able to give these young people their job through yeah. their talents. Mm-hmm. Yes. And what are the objectives of BISA? Mm-hmm. One, to offer an opportunity for maximal development of talents in boys yes. and girls mm-hmm. through training yeah. and nurturing of their talents. Yeah. Number two, BISA is creating a community mm-hmm. and sustainable academy yeah. in order to develop football in this part of Kenya. Yeah. Through identifying sports, that is through the talent search that we are doing each and every year. Yeah. And uh, also through uh, what we call the underage yes. uh, nurturing. Mm-hmm. That is what we are doing. Yeah. So what are the major strides that BISA has made since it is in session? That, that's actually very key because now mm-hmm. we have to look at it from outside and see what kind of uh, strides have you made as mm. BISA. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So far, since we started, eh, yeah. we, we have caused young people to realize that sports can give them future. Yes. And above all, that sports can keep them out of various small practices. Yeah. Remember, as I said, the reason why you formed this we saw in Kenya, not only in Budalang, all yeah. Busia County. Yes. The young people are involving themselves in malpractices mm-hmm. that, are, that are leading them to uh, to do things that are not supposed to be, like early pregnancies, yes. early marriages, mm-hmm. uh, drug abuse, and mm-hmm. so forth. Mm-hmm. So through BISA, we have also come to realize that in partnership with the sponsor, yeah. as well as other stakeholders, young people in Kenya, not only mm-hmm. in Budalang, can yeah. be given a future through their skills. Yeah. Man, I, I see under 13, under 14, under 15, under 16, mm-hmm. under 17, 18, and 19. Mm-hmm. Give us a scenario of how you work around that because these are really very many kids we are bringing on board. In Budalangu, yeah. it's easier for us because mm-hmm. we only have four words. That's uh-huh. four locations. Yes. In every location, yeah. we have a, a not more than four villages. Yeah. And in every ward, mm-hmm. we have called that a, a ward is called Baisa Branch. Uh-huh. Yes. So, like Bunyala South, this yeah. is called Baisa South. Mm-hmm. And Bunyala Central is called Baisa Central. Mm-hmm. Bunyala North is called Baisa North. Yes. And Bunyala East, uh, West is called Baisa West. Okay. So, every branch it has mm-hmm. got a coordinator. Yes. That is now like a chairman of that branch. Mm-hmm. Now, this coordinator who is the chairman of that branch, yeah. comes up with the, uh, his officials. Mm-hmm. So we have an official for the family. Yes. We have an official for coaching. Yes. And we have an official for, for Matchcom. So that is a part of the referee. So these people, they meet. They have been trained by FKF through the league who work, yes. who is helping us very much. Mm-hmm. So once they have been trained, we yeah. absorb them. And these, most of them are teachers. Uh-huh. They are primary school teachers. Yes. So they know they 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 know how to teach these young people. Yeah. So when we say selection from under nine, it is easier for us because they just go to school and yes. they are teaching, uh-huh. and they select these using their birth certificate to be yeah. these are under nine, yeah. these are under tw- under thirteen, mm-hmm. under fifteen, under eighteen, and under twenty. Yes. So when it comes to under twenty, we go up to the high school. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you also have teachers from high school. Yes. Those teachers now become coaches. Mm-hmm. So. Once it comes to August, eh, yeah. we launch what we call BISA talent search. Yeah. So these teachers, they compete against themselves. Uh-huh. It becomes fun. Yes. Smart as a source of training. Yeah. So once it becomes fun, uh-huh. they compete who will win against who. Yes. From this world. Mm-hmm. So we have finals from each world. Yeah. For example, we play finals in Bunyala South. Mm-hmm. Then the winner yeah. gets a cup. Uh-huh. Gets money yeah. to for that those injuries and maybe the yeah. players to have some water drinks. Then the winner comes, comes to the cup, waiting for the winner from Baisa Central. Aha, uh-huh, okay. So the winner yes. also from Baisa Central also gets everything and waits for the winner from the yes. south. Yeah. Then it comes a day like on 26th or 27th of the day, okay? yeah. they play against each other. The to winner find the eventual winner. Carries the two cups. Yeah. The line is cut across by River Zoya. Yeah. So we only, then we go across mm-hmm. River Zoya. Yeah. Yeah, but you get Baisa North. Mm-hmm. This Baisa North also plays against Baisa West. Yeah. The winner also carries how many cups? Two. Two trophies. Yeah. 
Now the the two from the across two from across meet. Mm -hmm. That's very fun, eh? Yeah. On thirtieth of December. That's what I was yeah. inviting the other day. <laughs> now you can be able to come and see the fun. Come, really come fun and football. see. Mm. It's it's working on the mm. ground and on everything is done. That's so what they play against each other. Yeah. They now play. The winner carries how many trophies? Four trophies. Four trophies. In like fifty thousand, yeah. eh? Yeah. For the injuries and maybe water, so yeah. that through these partners, eh? Yeah. And then. Eh, from there, the principals that we invited, eh, yeah. they have already selected their... No, their like now is the title holder. Title holder is Vinyara Central. Vinyara Central. Yeah, it's called... <laughs> they came up as Boca Juniors as a team. They came up as a team. Now it's yes. Vinyara Central. Yeah. They have carried this trophy two times. Two times. So they are, after we have left the four... The other guy is out to be fighting. This time around, we ask for sponsors to yeah. buy us some trophies. Trophies. For December 20th. That, that is a, a, a very good one that we have seen. But now, what does the future hold for you? What does the future hold for BISA? We are trying to come up with a stadium, eh? yeah. which uh -huh. was supposed to build the mm -hmm. last year yeah. in, through the sponsorship of uh, first FC South Token yes. through our sister Angel Hainja. Uh -huh. But we are able to do that because of COVID-19. COVID yeah. So this stadium, yeah. we built a simple stadium like Machakos Kenyatta Stadium uh -huh. that was built by our, the next president of the Republic of Kenya, <laughs> uh, Dr. Alfred, Dr. Mtua, Alfred Mtua. Yes. Uh, this stadium will have a structure whereby mm. under the pavilion yeah. you have classes. Ah, it's like a school now. Yeah, like a school. Like a school now. Then uh -huh. outside the pavilion yeah. you have dormitories. Yes. So people, uh -huh. people will be traveling outside Kenya because yeah. it will be an international academy. Uh -huh. So from there yeah. we will be teaching Kenya's curriculum as much as international curriculum. Yes. Uh, wow. When people come see me uh -huh. flying, they pay school fees. Yeah. Those. People, my people from Budalang, who are not able to pay, they now schooling for free. When we go where, how again? Yeah. You understand? Yeah. They school for free. Mm -hmm. So in that way, you mm -hmm. raise an economy. Mm -hmm. You bring money to the people. Yeah. Imagine if you have a stadium which can host like uh, five thousand people. Yeah. Uh, in Budalang, mm -hmm. that means if you have a game, yeah. Gori versus uh, FC, they go to play in Budalang. Okay. That's our target. Wow. That's a big one. But it has to be sure, it has to work. There is no room for failure. There is no room for failure. Yeah. <laughs> it has no to work for you. room for failure. <laughs> yeah. There is no room for failure. Yeah. What if? What if, what if it doesn't None work? None of the above will not come to pass. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Some of you have asked me that query. Mm. Uh, the Nibaisa would have succeeded yeah. in a physical yeah. and moral education of our young people. Yeah. And given them an, an enough reason yes. to dream, uh -huh. which dreams they may realize yeah. sometimes later yeah. within Baisa or uh -huh. outside Baisa. Yeah. But to me, when outside, uh -huh. that is what I believe. That is yeah. that is a succession. Yeah. That is what I believe. It is a boon uh -huh. for young people to have yeah. a dream and they have to fulfill it. Uh, our time is actually going away, and my director is on my case. Mm -hmm. But I will give you. Five or two minutes to give us your parting shot and talk to the youths themselves when it comes to the future because it's it's their time. It's our time now. The youth. It's our time now. What is your parting shot? Um, allow me first of all to talk to any leader. Yes. That is listening to listening to me at this time. Eh? Yeah. I want to challenge you. To ask yourself one important question. Yeah. If these young people yeah. will be lucky mm -hmm. to live up to see the next century, yeah. 10 years to come, mm -hmm. what changes will you have made in their life? Mm -hmm. what, uh, how many doors of opportunities uh, will you have opened for them? Yeah. Me, with me absolutely, I believe this is the best chance to put these young people together, give them hope open up the doors of opportunities so that they can be able to fulfill their dreams through their talents. Yes. And you talked about the youth and the sports, eh? Yeah. For any young man, for any young woman, eh? Yeah. For a young footballer who is listening to me at this time, I want to assure you that me, Absalim Mogana, I'm here to work with you yeah. in each and every step of your life yeah. to ensure that you fulfill your dream through your talent. Yeah. Thank you so very much, Bonasso. And may God bless you, Y254. Y254. Imagine. <laughs>
<laughs> may God bless Kenya and may yeah. God bless Mulalang Youth Sports Academy. Yeah. Sante, sir. The future for Baisa has to be really bright for you guys. Oh. And that everything that you are doing there, we'll have to visit. We'll come with our cameras there and see how Baisa is actually working. I'm also welcome. That has been Absalom Ogana, who is the pre founder and president of Budalangi Youth Sports Academy. And it's all about helping someone, helping this youth man to rise up in everything that is happening in the world. That conversation of youth and sports, it is not the first time we are, we are having it, we'll be having it more so and people will be coming to talk about youth and sports. And for us here at 2254, being the youth, we wish Budalangi Youth Sports Academy a very, very bright future. Mm. It is Robert Osoro, it is time to go for a very short break, we'll be going with the, there's a match that will make someone get mad here in studio, but we have to play it. The last time Arsenal played Manchester United, what happened? And today, something big might be happening here on the touchline. <laughs> 